I'm going to show you the best tool for manufacturing, shop floor, service organizations, uh, consulting, engineering, where you need to see the up to the minute project status for work orders, uh, service orders, jobs, projects. Uh, you will see a list of your projects, the last time those projects were worked on, the last employee who worked on them, and whether the timer is running. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here in standard time, I will choose View, Work in Progress. And up pops what I call the airport window. Actually, this is just a status of all your jobs, work orders, uh, service orders, uh, projects that you're working on right now. And you're going to see the um, top 15 or 20 projects here that are going on right now and the status of those. You can see listed here the job, the last time something happened on that job. Uh, some of these have status on them, finished, funded, active, waiting, completed, and so on. Hours that have been logged to them the cost of that project that has been earned so far, and then the last employee who has touched it. Of course, you can tell whether the timer is running right now. So you can bring this window up and you will see the status of your jobs, whether they're out on the shop floor, people are scanning barcodes, RFIDs, out in the field with consultants who are using the mobile apps, iPhone, Android, entering in time and up to the minute status. Actually, this updates every 15 seconds and you can just see the status of every job that is going on right now. The most important, of course, is the number of hours, who's working on it, and whether the timer's running. Down in the lower left here, first of all, I've got this set to the last 30 days, but if I went down, let's say, to the last seven days, there's fewer jobs that have uh, had some new activity here in the last seven days. So you can adjust the activity there. You can also take a look at the uh, organization. Now, you may have lower administrators who may have access to smaller parts of the organization or fewer projects, so their screen would be adjusted according to those uh, user rights. In the lower right, you see a little uh, control panel here for setting how the fields are shown, whether you're using the project name, work order, text. That's just configuring those jobs so that the screen displays properly. You'll also notice that this can be resized. Um, you can also maximize the screen for the entire screen and be able to see this at a distance by using large fonts. So I've just um, enlarged the fonts here, enlarged the size of the window, and now you have a nice airport status. You know those baggage claim windows that you see when you walk into the airport? This is kind of the status there of uh, what's going on with your jobs. And um, you're able to sort of uh, update it and um, resize it to the size you like. You also notice that if you right click on these headers, you can insert columns, the started date of the project, the percent complete, the department, the uh, activity last occurred in, uh, last employee to work on it, whether the timer's running, the number of hours, the cost, the status, and then the last activity. Now, I'm displaying many of these columns right now, and if I don't want to see a certain column, I can right click on it and hide that column. So this is uh, very configurable, allows you to see the um, status of all your jobs, this may be one of the best tools for uh, manufacturing, consulting, service type organizations where you just need to see the status of your jobs. You may have noticed also if you go to the view menu, you have employee status. And that window is going to show you the status of all of your employees and what they're working on now, the last activity, whether the timer's running, the number of hours today and this week. So that's a similar screen, but you're probably going to want to go to View, Work in Progress to see the status of those jobs at any given time.